You know the deal. Back and better. UFC 307. We are fucking here. Let's fucking go. Easy ones to start off with. I'm going to go ahead and drop them real quick. Tim Means, Court McGee. Now, I don't know if you guys know anything about Tim Means, and I didn't until I watched a random episode of UFC Unleashed or UFC Reloaded, whatever it was. And I saw this dude against some random guy. I forget it already. Uh, it starts with an H. But anyway, Tim Means is, is nasty, guys. I get the dirty bird name because he really does do some crazy shit. Knees, elbows. And I'm going to be honest with you. The fight that I'm talking about is from 2016. So don't act like this is like fucking something that you guys should pay attention to. Oh my God, I miss it. Like, hell no, this was a while ago. But if we see a vintage performance at Elevation, which is crazy for him to be the favorite. I don't know. Maybe he trains there. This is a great pick. Tim Means, the Dirty Bird. I want to see this dub. 100% Dirty Bird's got this one. I'm riding with Tim Means, even though that's just like a person that I normally, you would see me ragging on this dude because like, what has he done with his career, this and that. But I've seen it. I've seen the prime form of him. If the cards were played right, maybe he's something somewhere. But anyway, next fight on there. All right, Carla Esparza, the other Pennington. I don't know how to say her first name. Tisha, maybe. So this is an interesting matchup because Carla does have some names on her resume. I don't know how she's actually won some fights. People talk about how she's the most boring fighter ever. But she actually has a win streak coming before a loss. And those were good names. So she might come in here and surprise. Pennington, I mean, come on now. Like, we don't even know. That being said, I'm going to go with Pennington, though. I, I do want to take both of them just because I like the wives. It's a cool story to see them both win. Esparza's got names, and she has some skill, it, it seems to be. So I don't care about the boring factor. I don't care if it's not exciting. She might come out here and win. She's a dog. That's a good dog to pick on. But I don't think I will personally. Oh, Vince and Ryan Spann. Now, I want to make a point. That to Ryan Spann's credit, I do talk about how Anthony Smith robbed him in their rematch when he was getting beat on and he couldn't see and he was cowering. Okay, that's a point to make. But in this case, I do think Ryan Spann, I mean, he did technically lose to Anthony Smith in the rematch and he did get knocked out by Gushkov. Ovens is very fucking old. They rebooked this for some odd reason. I don't know why we didn't get it out the way a while ago. But this one will be interesting. Maybe Ovince will show some prime, you know, kickboxing. It, it is slick. It was at one time. Again, I've seen it in action. I've seen him knock people out with head kicks. He might be able to pull something off. Ryan Spann is not that good. But it is what it is. This is an early prelim matchup. Shout out these guys. I want to see some shit get done. For all three of these matchups, I think this is a good good opening uh, sequence. I'll make this one short because I've talked about Ehor before and he's let me down. He's going to lose. Cesar Almeida, elevation or not, he's going to come out here and show you the glory kickboxing. He's just going to put a show on. There's going to be no wrestling. Ehor's not smart enough to wrestle, I don't think. If he does, I'll eat the bullet. But I think this is going to be a stand-up match. Ehor's going to try to stand with him and get dropped and maybe get finished. But I don't know. That's just the way I see it. Cesar Almeida, I'm not the biggest fan, but Ehor, you've let me down too much, dog. I, I can't. I, it's crazy to me how much you've let me down. Not going to lie. So next. Talking about letting me down, this guy here, Austin Hubbard, when you came out of tough and you were the winner and you had your, you know, your debut, or maybe it was the finals that you lost in. I don't really remember. I think it was the finals. Um, yeah, you let me down. You got subbed. And I had a I had a bet with you and Brad Katona, and that would have been dope to see because I would have won some moolah, but no, you lost me there. So do I want to go for you? I don't really know you or the opponent too well. I'm just going to leave this one in a coin flip, and you can make your own assumptions on who I'm going to pick. Marina Rodriguez, we're coming in here too. We're going to take her because she's the experienced one here, and she has some good names on her resume, wins and losses. But I think I've seen her get down and dirty. I've seen her split some people open with elbows. Before 300, you can find footage of me being very adamant that Marina Rodriguez was going to upset Jessica Andrade. She might have even came in as the favorite. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me. But... Marina Rodriguez was at one time very, very nasty. I liked watching her. She was fun. But I've seen plenty of clips for her, and I think she's going to be the one to come out victorious this time, even though I lost out before. Wonder Boy and Buckley, I'll make this one short too because I'm not trying to say too much that's going to make it seem like I'm not the biggest Wonder Boy fan ever. Shout out to boy Steven Wonder Boy Thompson. But I think this one's going to go down to Buckley on the ground, sub or ground and pound. Shout out Wonder Boy. God damn, I'm sorry that they do this to you. Give him a striker that he can just show off against. Like, please, Buckley. I don't think you're the best, but I think you have just the skill set to beat Wonder Boy because Wonder Boy is defenseless when somebody grabs him and takes him to the ground. Maybe he could get up once or twice, but there's going to be a sequence on the ground that's going to be close to finishing. And I just, I'm a big Kayla Harrison fan. She's coming in for the top of the division, in my opinion, but I think this is the perfect matchup for her to not take serious and, you know, get fraud checked. And I hate to say it like that because she does seem like the type of humble person that would not take any fight, you know, unserious. She's coming in here and she's ready to, 
humbly take the throne. She was talking in an interview that she would be, you know, uh, Vieira, Pena, and Pennington in the same night. And I thought like she was above that kind of trash talk. It's not like trash talk too much. Like I guess she's trying to, you know, sell her position in the sport. It wasn't too bad. But humbly, I'm hoping she takes the throne. And if this is the fight that she gets knocked off, she's a big favorite. This would be really, really upsetting. Go ahead and bet the dog on this one. You have to. You can't make no money on it. This fight again, I don't want to talk too much about it because I am a big Kevin Holland fan, but I'm just trying to look at the numbers here and pick who I think is going to have the best stylistic matchup to win. And I think Roman Deleuze Day is going to come out here and wrestle him. Kevin Holland is not the best wrestler. His grappling's good, and he's not going to get subbed. He's not going to get finished on the ground. I don't think he'll get finished at all. But I do think this will be a wrestling match. Boring decision for Roman Deleuze Day. Kevin Holland's going to be getting frustrated on the ground. He's going to be, you know, you're going to see it in his face. Just like we saw with MVP, he's just emotionally upset that he can't get his rhythm. And I think Deleuze Day is going to take advantage of the wrestling. I think that's all that I have to say. Don't quote me. In Brazil, Jose Aldo might have been the underdog as well. This time he's coming in at the dog. And I really think he's going to get this one done. Elevation or not, this dude is proven to be a top caliber fighter. Mario Batista, if you get this one done, I'll put some respect on your fucking name, brother. But if not, I, I do believe Jose Aldo is going to come out here and win his fight all the way to the decision. There's going to be nothing too crazy about it. Check the leg kicks, you know, throw some nice extended combos, rip the body. Jose Aldo all the way. Please go ahead and get this one done. King of Rio, shout out. Pennington and Pena. Wow, I know you guys are waiting for me to talk about this one. These girls are going to go at it all the way to the bell. And it's not going to be exciting. Pennington's going to go ahead and get this one done. I think she's just more well-rounded of a fighter than Pena. They both are pretty well-rounded if you want to like not talk about Pena striking and how she gets subbed and how she's not really good. And that stupid run that she does where she punches forward and gets dropped. Anyway, anyway, Pennington's going to get this one done. I think she's so much more well-rounded. And then for the main event, obviously we got Alex and Khalil. I'm not going to talk too much about it because my boy Khalil Roundtree's number one fan page is out there listening, and he would be very offended if I said that he's going to come out here and get dropped round one. I don't even think that's going to happen, right? I think Alex will come out here, and Khalil will be one of these random dudes that can just take his punches. We saw Jan. We saw Bruno. Like, these people can eat punches from Alex and get all the way to the bell. They're going to lose, of course, but I think this is going to be one where Alex can just dog walk for five rounds. Sugar Sean Cheeto performance, like Khalil just won't drop. We're going to be sitting there saying, just just go down, Khalil. Just let it happen. Like, just stop. And Alex is just going to be teeing off on him. Leg kicks, you know, left hooks, high kicks. Uh, somebody, Some people are saying the front kick is going to be for Alex because, you know, Khalil's got this like, like you know, it's going to be open for him. But I don't know. Five rounds. It's going to be interesting. Stone hands for the win. Shama. Uh, Shama. Shama. 